Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer with my video number 8 regarding adding iSCSI storage to my ESXi 6.5 hosts. I have two hosts on the top you can see ESXi 6.5 host 1 then host 2. The third one is my server which is a member server. This member server is running vSphere 5.5 client which I am going to use to access my ESXi hosts and also I am going to make my domain which is a dev.com domain which will become actually my iSCSI storage server or I am going to add iSCSI target a role on this server. So let's do this step by step looking at my active directory where i have my both hosts available and my dns where i have my a host record under my forward lookup zone dev.com is my domain name this is my esxi 6.5 host one with ip 192.168.1.19 and this is second esxi 6.5 host this is my again DC which is showing my domain controller. I am going in to my storage section at iSCSI side where I am showing you about the environment where you can add iSCSI directly without going to add roles and features. So here you are looking at pre-installed iSCSI and two targets which is my ESXi1 and ESXi2 both servers. So here storage is basically provided to those two hosts from my dev.com domain. This is my vSphere client on this client is on my member server. So we can log into each ESXi one by one. So this is my first ESXi host. I am using my root account to log in from my this member server using ESXi 5.5 client. To add a storage you have to click on storage adapters and add button add software iSCSI adapter acknowledge the message now you have to refresh before you add your storage now you can add your storage here you can find actually the server which is running iSCSI target so i installed this feature on my server let's go and take a look the ip address of the server which is my actually dc host name is dc1 ip is 192.168.1.113 so click on close and click on yes for the rescan that's supposed to be a good signal so we do have now add storage option here under my storage you can see the disk or logical unit numbering option you select 250 gigabyte logical unit number over the disk and click on next here you provide a name i am providing data store one underscore 250g now you can use a customized space or the maximum so i am using maximum and finish so that is where i have my storage once you refresh you see this logical unit number or my data store so this will be available for my this first host 
I can add same into my second host. This is my location E drive. This should be 250 gigabyte under my server, which is running iSCSI target. So that was my first demo. Now I can log into my ESXi2 at the same time when I logged in as I logged in into my ESXi1. We can ignore the certificate or actually you can install. So this is up to you. So I'm back into my vSphere client. Click on configuration tab. Now you can go and click on storage adapters. I don't see my logical unit number there, but I have to add my software iSCSI adapter. Same procedure, we can refresh, then we can go back to storage. First, we have to connect definitely with the same IP address of my DC10 or my dev.com domain. Once you have that in the windows, then you can click on OK to rescan. Now we can go back to our storage, add storage, same procedure. You will see here the logical unit number IQN will appear. Next, next, and same name. Next, and finish. So now we do have data store available on both ESXi hosts. So what will happen in my next video that I can demo here, but I cannot complete because uh, we need to populate ISO also plus we need to uh, populate, uh, in other words, our, uh, our data store, which I did not. So I'm just showing you demo here. You can now select the data store the way I am selecting now. Once you add your virtual machine, this uh, data store uh, actually uh, requires ISO with operating system. When you have your virtual machine added, then you can install the operating system. That will be my next video. So I'm going to give you all procedures, uh, all procedure, the one uh, I did this uh, to add iSCSI target into this server. So here I'm showing you, you can again create a virtual machine on to your second host ESXi1 or EXI2, but I will not complete this. So let's go and watch my next video for this task where I'm gonna go and add virtual machines and operating system uh, step by step. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.